All right, so first off in building a computer, the, you will have to put the motherboard in. This is the easiest part in my opinion. You just place it down, you put IO shield in, that, be careful with, and then you screw it in. There's nothing much we can show you, so we just decided not to. Okay, now, to put the CPU in. All right. Okay, so first, you're gonna take your CPU, and put it in the CPU socket. This is the most nerve-wracking part of building a PC. So first you open it up, there's different ways of doing it. There's the Intel where there's two, there's the other AMD where there's two, there's this one with just one little pin. One thing you need to make note of is on every motherboard there's a little indent triangle on the motherboard itself, on the CPU socket, that matches up with a golden triangle on the CPU. Right here. Right there. Boom. So you gotta match that up. So for me, it's right here and right here. So all we gotta do is there's no pressure at all. You just drop it in like that. That's it. And then you just push it down, tuck in your thing, and you're done. CPU's installed. Hardest part of your build done. Yeah. Now keep in mind when you're Pulling the lever, there will be pressure. D depends on what kind you have. Some more pressure than others, but pressure's normal. You want pressure. If there's no pressure, it means there's something wrong with your board. Okay, so zoom out just a bit, and I will put on the heat sink, which for AMD looks like this. It's really rackety and junky. The Intel one, not much better. The Personally, I have a liquid cooling set up, so I don't have to do this that much. All right, so first, for the AMD one, you, I don't believe it matters which way you do it. You just take your wire, keep it out of the way. This is a really neat trick to do, is to coil it up so you save, you get sort of the extra slack in between. All right, and you take these and match them up with these little indentations on the board right here. So right here, you will put this one on the back. Lay it down, now drag the one from the back onto the front, and there will be just a bit of pressure when you're doing this. Remember, pressure is usually normal in this type of work environment. So you just do this, you drag this over the edge there, and now it's securely hooked on. And all you do is flip this little blue pressure hinge, and then boom, it's securely on. You have just installed the most important part of your build. Now, while we're at it, the RAM, or Rack Random Access Memory, comes in modules like this. Sometimes they don't have heat sinks and they come looking like this. You know, different brands do what they do. All right, so RAM is the quote-unquote hardest part of putting your computer together. You need physically about no force at all, you see? Take it, line it up with the small notch right here and the small notch right here. You drop it in, and then you put your two fingers on the little notches at the end, and you push down and clip the notches, boom, RAM's installed. Let me do it with the other one so we can move on. Ugh. There. Done. Okay. Now, while we're at it, we're gonna take a little wire we got from our CPU. We're just gonna plug it into any nearby fan header, right? Here, it's a four-pin fan header, so you put it in a four-pin fan header. And you push that in, boom, all powered. You see how this um, little knot right here gets rid of a lot of the slack? There would be a wire, like a huge wire right here if we didn't do that, all right? So, now, I guess while we're here, the graphics card will be the next obvious step. So right here we have a GTX 650 Ti. It's a very small card. Most cards are like twice the size like that. All right. So what you're going to do is, if you haven't already, take out these clips right here. Here's an example of how to do that. On our case, you'd push this down, do that, open it up, take it out. But this, we snap in. Clean it off a bit. 
All right, so first you make sure this is down. You make sure that you have one screw that comes with your PC, one screw, just ready to go. And then all you do is line it up with it, and you place it down ever so gently in the slot, and you just push it in. Boom, it's installed, but to prevent any errors or anything, you take the screw, you put it in one of the holes right here at the top, and you screw it in. I'll get a screwdriver for this right now. All right, there, GPU installed. All right, um, the fans, very self-explanatory, you just plug them in. Um, this right here, this specific type of interface would be to the motherboard. This is called Molex, which is their own separate power that you use for various things that aren't motherboard related, such as um, LEDs, such as um, if you want hard drives. Molex is very important. All right, so let's find some fan headers. That's one in, all right. Does your motherboard have two? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'll put this one in here. All right, these two wires are gonna be dangling here the entire time. Easiest part. All right, so um, this case has a ton of cables pre-installed. Um, some of them are from the LED fan controller that we have in here that we just, you don't, no, n not many people have, so we didn't think it was necessary to put in the video. So we're just gonna get these wires out of the way. It's not important, it doesn't do much. It's not built into the case. Yeah, it's not built in, it's just, it's aftermarket, as one would say. All right. uh, turn it like around so I can get a better view of that. All right, now we're gonna be installing the power supply. First off, make sure you're grounded when you do this, which means you won't charge any static electricity or any of that, okay? So be touching metal. Yeah, touch a ton of metal before you handle a power supply. Oh, one important rule, if your power supply appears damaged or something, do not attempt to fix it whatsoever. Just get rid of it. Power supplies are the most dangerous part. You want to make sure that that you're safe. And um, yeah. This is where all the electrical power comes from. This is the most dangerous part. Make sure you go for a reputable brand. I definitely recommend Corsair. This is a CX430. Corsair is the best brand, in my opinion, for power say, supplies. Okay. Let's say that number means the watts. Oh, yeah. The number on the CX series, C CX430, means the wattage of the power supply, if you didn't know. So, all you do is take it. Put it in the slot and push it back. Then you take four screws right here. Take a screwdriver. There. My bad. There. Alright, you take four screws and you screw them in. Right in the back. Right, we're skipping this part on the actual video. Alright, where's that screwdriver? Wow, Connor, shit my thing. Oh. It was like that before, I swear. All right, now that that's done, the first step when you have this installed is, all right, there's the simple step and then the advanced step. Today we're gonna be doing the advanced stuff. All right, so all these cables, right? You could just plug them all in and it would look like this in the end. 
you don't want this cluttered mess. So what we're gonna do is first let me separate all these cables. There. Alright. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna take them one by one. You didn't need zip ties, right? Huh? No, I got it. We just take them one by one and put them through the back, around and through. You should turn it around for this. I would. So, to give you some perspective of what's happening. There. I should take them out. Put them in. Once you have this, then you're ready to start actually plugging stuff in and getting this to turn into your new either workstation computer or recreational computer or gaming computer. It's going to need a lot of editing. start off big here all right take the 24 pin see this is 20 and then the plus four sometimes when you get it it won't come attached sometimes when you get it it will come attached who knows all right so you're just gonna oh, hold on which one's closer to the motherboard this one so we're gonna take this and then on the inside yeah the rest I'm just gonna take it and pull it in a bit. Get some slack going. Actually, I'd rather start from here. Here. Like that. Is it the wrong way? Um, shouldn't be, no. It's probably just me being stupid. There, got it. Oh, it was the wrong way. Huh? It, it was the wrong way? No. It was just me being stupid. Ah. Can get it. Alright, so this isn't fully in right now. I'll push this in, in a bit later. Alright, now. We're going to install the hard drive now. This case is probably the easiest way to do it. So first, you have these two things right here. You just put them on the sides, no screws required, and you just slide them in. So we'll put this one in the middle drive so we have room to work above and below there. Now, what you're going to do is take a SATA cable, which is used between motherboard and hard drive. This is a uh, SATA 6 gigabytes per second cable. We will put this right there into the drive. Now, I'm going to route this back here. Route it through here. All right. And I'm going to bring it out here and plug it in for the SATA. Now, to power the drives, you're going to need one of the motherboard cables. This one. Oh, here. I'll just put it through. You need this cable. This cable powers all SATA. This is SATA powered. Powers all SATA powered things. Like drives, hard drives, CD drives, optical drives, all those drives. Boom, plugged in, hard drive is ready to go. It's all done. It's a very simple process. All right, now, most of these wires here mean absolutely nothing. These are just from his fan controller, which is pretty cool. All right, so, I'm gonna take this right here, and move it out of the way. All right, these cables, these you have to pay very close attention to. There is a power, a reset, 
and an HDD LED, which is the LED for your hard drive when it's working. Every computer has it, you might just not notice it sometimes. These are very tricky, considering they're very small. There's a lot of room for mistake on this motherboard. And there's only one spot for it. Alright, so. We have to get these wires into the sockets. But first, we're going to take the easy steps. The USB and the HD audio. These are very easy. So you take the HD audio, plug it in. Right there, it should just be simple. Pins, very simple. Go right in. USB. Plug into either of the USBs right here. Just boom, bang, they're in. There. Alright. What the hell are you doing? Light. Please tell me you got me to put those in. Yeah, I did. Alright. Don't worry about it, Connor. I got it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Are you doing the JFP1 plugs right now? I don't know. YOLO. Alright, ready? Let's not risk it, Connor. Worst comes to worst. Look, see? Even if they don't fit, they, they fit. Yeah, of course they fit. Alright, ready? That thing's done, is going to be finished in a minute, then we can know where they go exactly. Alright, so we'll skip this for now. Alright. I just don't want to risk anything. Alright, so. These, we can tuck away in the back. Right, let's do that. We can tuck these away up here. Keep these out of the way. Alright, alright. Do you care about the fan controller, Kev? As in, do I want it? Yeah. Yes. Alright. So that's another step. Alright. That's there. This is... Oh, it's a power LED. So plug this in too. Or we won't plug this in because this one's broken. This one's broken. It's not broken, it just has... Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's fine. There. Boom. Alright. Oh, wait. I'm stupid. My bad. I'm um, going to plug these into the Molex cables. Alright, let's do the CPU power. Alright. I will now put the CPU power cable in. Alright. Through here. And I will take it. Take it out. Oh, this cable is all the way over there. For this particular case, we're going to have to not cable manage this cable. We're just going to have to put it in directly. No effort whatsoever. All right. But we can try to do it in the neatest possible way by taking this, this around these wires. And just putting it in there. So as you can see, we've plugged these three little wires in into their appropriate spots. Most motherboards are different in the way that they do that, so can't really give you a definite way of doing that. You just gotta look in your manual. They're usually in the first couple of pages because they're really important. All right, so don't worry about these. We're gonna get these out of your way. These are for the fans that Kevin has installed in his computer. Take a Molex right here. This is the hardest part to cable manage and we're not gonna attempt it because there's no way to do it. You just gotta plug them in. Like that. And then hope for the best. So there's not gonna be cable management with the fan headers. This is why I don't like them. All right, so, then again, these are other fan temp things, but we're just gonna put those away, because we don't need them. They're not actually part of a PC build. All right, so we have the hard drive installed. All right, so what we gotta do next 
is to install the drive bay. The drive bay is a simple, you open this up, you slide it in, and you lock it right here. That's it. It's the simplest part of it. It's easy. Peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I don't know what's on my hand, excuse me. You're using a screw to take it off? Obviously. You're gonna get tetanus from that. Hot. And by the way, this is my hard drive. That's my optical drive. Yeah, I know. Did I not say that? You said hard drive. I said CD drive. You said hard drive. Rip. So, make a correction. Let's pretend I didn't say that. The whole thing was just me cleaning up. Alright. Alright, now that you have your hard drive installed, the next thing to do is to install the CD drive, which is right here. Simply, you open up the front panel if you have a front panel. You slide it in. And for this case, all you do is pull this back and it locks. And what you're gonna wanna do is same as the hard drive, you take a SATA cable. We're gonna use the hanging edge for this because it's hanging. And plug that in right there. Then you don't have to cable manage if you don't want. But what we're gonna do is put this cable on it through the back. Get rid of as much slack as possible. Bring it out through here, and then plug it into there. And then your hard drive is successfully installed. You're recording. Three, two, one, bang, bang. All right, so now that we have the SATA cable plugged into our CD drive right here, or optical drive as anyone would call it, we need to give it some power. So just like we gave this SATA power, we need to grab a SATA power cord from back here, from the cable management zone. I have it just sticking out right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put it through here and work around this yellow cable, remind, reminding you that not everyone will have the yellow cable. In fact, most of you won't, so don't even care about it. Just plug this in right here like you would a hard drive. It's at a bit of a weird angle, so let me redo this. In. Right, hold on, I can't see. Alright, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Alright, it's in. There. So just like that, it's in. Now you have a powered CD drive. Now while I'm down here, bending down. Alright, this cable means nothing. This is for the case. This is something stupid. So just get this out of the way. Alright, this. So we're gonna take the speaker cable. Right. Notice how it's labeled speaker. And you're gonna find the speaker port on your motherboard, which for us happens to be right here. Sure. Positive. So then, thus we just need to take a little Molex from, we need the Rolex cable, that's one thing we need. So I'm just gonna stick this through here. I'm just gonna stick this through here. And plug that in like that. And put this through the back again. There, perfectly cable. All right, so because of this yellow wire and all the fan headers, it's not gonna look, you know, good, as one might say. Nah. And last but not least, I believe last. Oh yeah, two more things actually. All right, so we need to power the graphics card. So we take a PCIe cable from the back. Label of PCIe. Some graphics cards will need this. We'll need an extension, but this one, don't think it does, right, Kev? It needs a three. All right, so we just find the way that it clips in, which will happen to be this way, and you plug it in. Your graphics card's power. Just tuck this little piece away. Let's get this out of the way over here. All right, stop recording. 
All right, now, last but not least for us at least, we need to power the central processing unit, otherwise known as the CPU or the processor. This one is gonna be very hard to cable manage considering the length of the wire and the case. So we can't actually cable manage this one because of the size of our case. So if your motherboard has the CPU power over here, you'll be able to, but since this is far away, we won't be able to do that. So, sorry, it's taking a bit because it's the first cable in and the last cable out. Oh my gosh. There. Into the camera. All right, unfortunately we have nowhere to put this through, so we're just gonna straight put it in. Let's see. All right, so always use the one that's labeled CPU directly on it. This one is for if you need, if your CPU needs it. So use the one with CPU first. All right, so you see a little notch on the side. Match it up with the notch on here. So for us, it would be tilted all the way like this. And we just slide that in like that. All right, let me just uh, make sure that that's it. That looks to be it. Okay, now we'll get back to you when we're ready to put the side panels back on. And with that, the computer works.